today's video we're going to be talking about markup, discount, and tax. An example of a markup can be an iPhone. A couple of years ago the iPhone was about $200. Now that everybody wants an iPhone, the Apple marked the phone up, meaning it costs more now than it cost before. An example of a discount can be uh, clothes that you go to the mall, regular price can be like $30, $50, and it's discounted, meaning it's, you're going to pay less if you pay 20%, 30%, or whatever percent the store wants to be as a discount. Tax, this example is when you go buy something, you always pay a little bit more. Example, like if you go to a uh, market or buy food, they say, okay, the total is $19.89, but when you go, they say, oh, it's twenty-one fifty-four. That's because you're going to be adding the tax for that, okay? So in the first problem, we're going to be talking about markup. A bicycle usually sells for $230. It's marked up by 20%. Find the final price. So we're going to look at it, and it's $230. And we're going to multiply by 20, okay? And the way we multiply it is over two places. One, two. So when we multiply, we're going to multiply by 0.20. Okay, we're going to leave the zero. Hold value, zero. Then we do two times zero is zero. 2 times 3 is 6, and then 2 times 2 is 4. We go and look at it, there's two place values, so we go 1, 2. So that is how much it's marked down. 46 marked up, I'm sorry. It's $46. That's not your final answer. After you find your markup, you have to add your markup to your original price. So you will do 230, so this will be step one, you can say. And your step two will be adding them up, 230 plus your markup, because it's gonna cost you more money now, because the bicycle is gonna be more expensive, because not everyone wants that bicycle. So now we just add six, four plus three is seven, plus two. So you're going to be paying now $276 for the bicycle. That is one way of doing that problem. Another way of doing that problem can be is you go ahead and use your $230 and then you multiply that by the percentage of the markup. It's not going to be 20%, it's going to be a markup. So you're going to add 100% plus 20%, it's going to give you 1.20 because 100% you're going to move the decimal places. Now when you multiply this, it's going to give you the same answer, 276 dollars. Second example we're talking about now is the discount. A bicycle usually sells for $130. It's discounted by 20%. Find the final price. Okay. So first, we'll look at uh, how much the bicycle costs, original price. It's going to be $130. Then we're going to multiply by the discount. It's 20 so we're going to move it one, two places. So we're going to multiply by 0.20. Leave the zero. Then we go to tens place. So zero times two is zero. Two times three is six. And then two times one is two. We have two. We're going to go one, two. So the discount on this 
bicycle $26. Well, we already found what was discounted, and you can say that would be part one of the problem. The second part of the problem is figuring out what is going to be our final price. So we go ahead and put 130 because that's the original price. Now we're going to subtract by the discount of 20%, which is going to be 26. Cannot, so we're going to borrow. It becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 2 minus 2 is 0 and 1. Bring down the 1. So that's going to be your final price of paying for the bicycle. Now, that's one method that you can solve it. The second method you can solve it is same thing. We'll put in the price. We're going to multiply the price original price of the bicycle which is 130 and we're going to multiply by how much percentage are we paying we know that if we pay 130 that's a hundred percent but we're only going to pay 80 percent so we're going to multiply by 0.80 why 0.80 because 80 percent Plus 20% is going to give us 100%. And we are not going to pay 100% because it's discounted, by, it's discounted by 20%. So when you multiply 130 times 0.80, which is 80%, you're going to have the same answer of 104 this problem we're going to be talking about tax. Jordans usually sell for $220. If the sales tax is 20%, what is the final price? Okay, we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and put the numbers that cost for the Jordans, which is $220. And we're going to multiply by 20%. Make 20%. I'm going to turn into decimal. Two places. So we're going to multiply 220 times 0. 0.20. This is 0. Then we're going to move on to the tens place. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 2 times 2 is 4. We have 2. One, two. So that is going to be the sales tax for the Jordans if they cost $220 and it's a sales tax of 20%. Now we're going to go and add 220. So this will be step one. We found the tax. Now we're going to find the final price. When we pay for the Jordans plus the tax, which is going to be 220 plus the $44 of tax. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then bring down the 2. So in total, if you want those $220 Jordans and the sales tax is 20%, you're going to be paying $264 for Jordans. Okay, that's the first step. And the second step, the same way you can solve it like the other ones is, we still put 220 which is the original price. We're going to multiply by the percentage, which is going to be 20%. But it's going to be taxed, so it's going to be added up. So we're going to do 100% plus 20% is going to be 120%. So we're going to multiply 220 times 1.20. When you multiply this, it's also going to give you $264.